Hello everyone, and welcome to Truly Bedrock, a season four. This is episode 44. Nice. <laughs> In the last episode, we were taking a break from the farm buildings and things that we've been doing over at the Mushroom Island, and we decided to go check out a mangrove swamp and jump over into creative and look at all the different things that have been added into the update. I did forget a couple of things. We could have checked out the warden and the LA. I could have spawned them in with the spawn egg and looked at them, but we forgot to do that. And then also there was a new enchantment added, and I believe it's for the leggings, which is pretty neat. Um, sneak, quick sneak, swift sneak. Sneaky book of sneakiness, level one, level two, level three. That that yeah, we're just we're just gonna go with that. And then the last thing that I forgot to kind of show off or even look at, and you guys mentioned it was the stripped log of the mangrove wood, which yes, absolutely does this fit in this build style, in this build palette. So yeah, we forgot a couple of things, but hey, that's how it goes when you don't pay attention to the updates or keep up to date with everything and try to figure it out on your own. I do want to get back over to the Ocean Monument project and get a storage system put in and get those things going, but nine days we were away from the server. To put it into retrospect for you, Saturday, June 4th was the last time I logged onto the server in the early morning. And then Monday, June 13th was the next time I logged onto the server. Also in the early morning, we did have to update the game because we don't auto update for obvious reasons. And we had to download all the new things for the server, like the placeable item pack that Foxy added. Uh, notice the bucket above my head. So, in that time, I finally got onto the server and didn't have a lot of time that first morning to finish recording my episode. And we first checked our shop. First thing I wanted to do, nine days off, go check the shop, see how much monies we made, see if we could be humble. And we didn't sell a thing. There are a couple of diamonds down in there. Um, I think we've got a diamond in the white chest and two in the black dye chest. But other than that, we didn't make a single diamond, and I believe those three diamonds were there before we went on vacation. So, I, I, I'm i getting, I'm broke. Like, seriously, I keep spending all of my money. It's my fault, nobody else's, but we've got nine blocks of diamond, um, which is 81 diamonds plus seven here. That's it. We have 88 diamonds to our name, and then we are going to be broke. So, I think what we need to do is we need to sell better items, right? Right now we have the B stuff, and I guess everybody's got all the B things they need. We're selling things like nether wart and spider eyes and gunpowder and bones. I think everybody on the server has farms for that stuff, and so it's not selling. I do want to get all the prismarine items over here eventually, but I think the better thing to sell is going to be something that has to do with update. And for you eagle-eyed viewers that read, well, the title, then you know what we're doing today, and all this anticipation and build-up is for naught, but I want to build a farm that is going to produce some frog lights for us. It deals with new things from the update, and it also gives us uh, a neat little farm that we can build in the nether, as a matter of fact. Now, there are a couple of different things that we can do or ways that we can build a frog farm. The first one is similar to what Tiz did in his episode where he found a magma spawner and then put down some frogs and things. Speaking of Tiz, look at that. We say his name and he's like the candy man. He just appears. <laughs> um. Anyway... We could do that, and through my searching and stuff like that, I have not seen um, a very close Bastion, because that's what we need to find. Very similar, again, to what Tiz found. Or we can lay down ourselves a pretty decent-sized platform in the Nether, and there are a couple of biomes that spawn magma cubes. The first one being the normal Nether Wastes, 
but there's some other mobs that will spawn in there like ghasts and zombified piglins. Um, if we went the Bastion route, we would have to do some serious despawning or uh, preventing of spawning and placing the uh, buttons or carpet or whatever to prevent spawns and stuff like that. The other thing that we can do is we can search out a Bastion, or uh, sorry, a Basalt Delta, trying to think and gather materials. <laughs> Not my strong suit. Um, and Basalt Deltas actually only spawn ghasts and magma cubes, so we can actually do a fairly decent job of making a platform and manipulating spawn or AFK locations to spawn specific mobs where we want them, and then utilizing a couple other things, we can manipulate magma cubes into a hole and have some frogs in them, can get broke down into the smaller versions, and gain us a bunch of magma, or uh, frog lights. I'm all over the place with these names. So, knowing what I know, which is very little, I know that the magma creams, or... Magma cube, you know what? Slimes drop slime. Magma cubes drop magma cream. So I'm going to call them magma creams because I do that very often. Just like uh, the nether stars, I end up calling them wither stars. I'm changing the name and I don't care. I'm doing it. We're going with it. Yep. Uh, I came back over here to gather up some of the glass that we had left over. And as a matter of fact, we can break this chest. This is a two-part or a twofer type thing that we're doing here. Not only am I gathering glass that I need, but I'm also cleaning up some things that we don't need. Just lying around. I do need to go over to the farms here uh, to gather up some iron. <clears throat> but yes, we can go build a platform and do some things, manipulate spawns, gain ourselves some different frog lights. The hardest thing for us is going to be getting the different colored frogs so that we get the different colored frog lights. But I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. We're having a little bit of uh, rendering. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Man. <sighs> Why is there a witch head? Um. Well, the good news, at least, my iron farm is still intact, so we could rebuild some item collection and storage, and we wouldn't have to worry about too much. A mob farm, that's okay. I've got enough ink to get me probably for a while. <laughs> it just... Oh, that's a little disheartening, but it's okay. It's okay. But anyway, I wanted to bring you guys over because I I got sidetracked and show you what I was more or less talking about um, doing. So here we are in a basalt delta, and I have a, you know, some frogs chilling in here, and we've got the platform and things like that. Um, I did something here <clears throat> because this is center one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. <laughs> um uh what is that this 11 by 11 is is a good little platform here oh magma cube <clears throat> oh i see what's going on you guys are spawning down below or into the glass that is the first time that has happened Normally, these guys will spawn underneath the slabs, and then they will go here. The slabs actually prevent ghasts from spawning. 
So this is going to be an issue that I didn't know I had to deal with because, yeah. I think we can solve it though, it's not a big problem. You guys will eventually fall back down. There we go. Well, we got ourselves a nice little platform in here, and we've got the Iron Golem in there doing its thing. And mostly, it's just an attractant to get the magma cubes over here. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of frog lights. I just set up a janky little collection system. I've probably only been in this area for a little bit. But if we AFK up here by the portal, you guys will see this farm kind of running in action. Right? Magma cubes will spawn. They will hop their butts over to the iron golem. And of course, going back and forth, I gotta let things despawn and respawn and stuff like that. Um, they will be busted down by both the powdered snow and the iron golem. There we go. So he does tend to get a little bit of a reach and can break those guys down, and then they sometimes spawn down in this lower section, or whatever have you. <clears throat> and things I've learned from building this farm, we need a platform, we need to gas-proof it, and I don't have to do any work on any of this assault delta here if I AFK up here at Y level 100 above the platform. The powdered snow that we have put in at this layer actually acts as a two-part thing. Number one, it will help break these slimes down into the, or magma cubes, into their smaller variant, so that they can be turned into frog lights. Frog poop. But it also keeps the frogs from jumping. As you see, they jump, but they don't go above the powdered snow. Uh, I was having some issues with the frogs ending up on this platform, and then that doesn't do us any good. And what's neat is you can see the little bumps in the snow when the magma cubes go. Um, it's actually a better... I think this system works better if it's opened up to a 7x7 seven seven here in the center. I was testing out a 5x5. Five five. This way the magma cubes will... Um, <clears throat> most likely fall down into the powdered snow and as they take damage from the powdered snow they will get hit by the iron golem yada 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 collection system magma uh, magma cubes frog lights yes it works good and i'm happy with it so what we need to do now is we need to gather ourselves up a little bit of a little bit more items i was going to the mob farm to get iron so, I think I've got enough iron to get me going. I'm going to have to run back to the base to get a couple of things that I forgot. And it's time to find this location in the nether and reproduce this farm. Uh, for your records, if you guys wanted to build this farm, it's uh, from the center. Glass pane that the golem's standing on, 11 blocks out. Build a platform uh, at Y level 70. Y level 70 is a good level for us to sit at Y level 100. We don't load any of this stuff around here, and this farm produces. We need to get ourselves a few different frogs, and that is why the nether portal is here, because on the other side of this portal is a frozen, frozen ocean, which is really nice, and then down this tunnel, and that way, about 80 blocks, is another portal where it takes us to a... Just a normal Taiga where we can get the other colored frogs. So we can get all three and get all three frog lights. Well, we got to the spot and just kind of put my head down and started doing some work. And we actually have all of the item sorters and items that we wanted. Uh, I did build the item sorters the wrong way and push the chest out this way, but it's fine. It's, it's not really a big deal. Yep, because the farm is going to be centered on this platform of hoppers here so i actually wanted the chest sitting underneath that but it's fine it's fine uh so we have in here magma cubes or magma creams rather we have the verdant frog light we have the okra and we have the pearlescent 
which is very nice. The last little bit of redstone that I need to do is going to be right here. Uh, I actually forgot about it until I brought you guys in. And that should be a simple dropper system and a little bit of hopper action. We're going to need some observers, maybe a sticky piston, mm, redstone comparator. Yes. Yep. Because what we're going to do is I have nothing underneath here. I'm going to add one more hopper and then a, a dropper facing down. That's perfect. And then what we will do Um yeah, we'll just go with the smooth basalt. I'm going to put a block there. Block here and here. Very similar to what we did on our other farms. We're going to have that like that. We're going to have... Um, we can get it to a block like that. And then some sticky pistons and some observers. And I never can remember... Yeah, that's the wrong way. We should just go ahead and put that one like that. We're going to need a solid block here. And then, for spawning purposes, a piece of glass like that. And then we are going to need that there. And if we go ahead and put in... Um, there we go. A piece of nether racket should retract and... There we go. We have overflow protection on our system, which is very, very nice. Now, through my testing in creative, the frogs are going to produce frog lights very, very quickly. And <clears throat> with that being said, I didn't want to have a minecart running back and forth because that minecart hopper did fill up very, very quickly. So what we're going to do instead is I am going to just build this platform out of hoppers a little bit of uh, material cost but it's fine it's fine so now what i need to do is i need to actually build an encasement for where the frogs are going to go then we're going to need to build ourselves a temporary little platform and eventually we can spawn the frogs in so we should be able to use the tadpoles that we have just to, um, uh-oh, I need more glass. Uh, we should be able to use the tadpoles that we have, this one, to get the lighter colored frog, like the gray one. But what I'm going to probably need to do is just go into a biome and spawn in some frogs get a bunch of um oh man it's gonna be gonna be a little bit more of a process than that huh uh hmm yeah i guess i'll set up a portal and i should be able to go very easily to the ice biome and get the green frogs i want about four i would say of each color so what I'm going to need to do uh, is set up a portal, go into the ice biome, breed a couple of frogs because I have three tadpoles, right? Once I get two frogs, I can breed them and get four tadpoles and let them grow up and then bring them through this portal and I will have my green frogs. I then need to have two more tadpoles on me to go to another biome breed those frogs, bring them in here, and eventually have four tadpoles on me so that I can set them in here, netting me a total of 12 frogs. Yep. Makes sense? Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> um, so... 367... I actually need to go 
this way. And what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to do a janky old bridge out. And I think we're going to go to the um, Tyaga biome first. Because it's the further one away. We can set up a portal right here and do some frog breeding on the other side for the four tadpoles I need for the nether and the four tadpoles that I'm going to need in the frozen biome. So let's first go this way. We need to go to 367 by 815. So another 50 blocks this way and then that way a bit by like 80 blocks. And then we should be able to set up a portal and do some frog breed. Well, it didn't take us too long, and I overcomplicated things, but we did get all of the frogs in here. You can see him jumping across the little window here. And what I have is temporarily placed in some netherrack to block these guys from jumping up. And I built a platform. Uh, I went out 10 blocks in each direction, and then we put in the aghast safety chamber. And what we need to do now is we need to set up an iron golem here. We need to put in the powdered snow, and then this farm is ready to go. We just need to set up our AFK spot. Uh, I did, bid, did build this a couple blocks lower than what I wanted. That's fine. It's no big deal. Um... So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially put in this right here. And before I get going, I'm going to put in a couple of temporary blocks like this. Like this. And like this. This should keep the iron golem in. Now, what I can actually do here is on top of... Hmm. Actually... If we were to place in our glass up one block higher, I think it would would look better. And I think the iron golem would do a better job of knocking the uh, magma cubes and stuff. So, that's what we're going to do. So, we need to put this down here. We need to carve it. I'm so good at pumpkin carving. Can't wait till Halloween. Um, And then... Boom. So now we have the iron golem in place. The trick now is going to be placing glass here and glass here. Then it's going to be kind of shoving him around to place glass here and glass here. Essentially locking him in in here. It took a long time for me to figure out how to <laughs> block a stupid iron golem, but that is it. And now that we have that done... um. I can pack a few things away, like so, and we can grab ourselves a bunch of powdered snow. And it's nice, we're kind of safe in here, kind of safe in here, I like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this block and then place the powdered snow um, one level lower, like so. Break, place, break, place. Pretty simple, pretty easy stuff, pretty redundant, and that is what we need to do. Once we do this, because we have the sorting system all lined out and we have um, all that stuff done, it should be relatively easy. I need to get a piece of powdered snow... Placed in here. That's just, like I said, that is just to keep the um, frogs from jumping up. And it doubles up. Then what we're going to need to do is we're going to actually need to build some kind of like staircase or something up to our AFK platform. And something that will get us down to the uh, item collection, right? And then go AFK for a bit. Now while I'm placing in the powdered snow, I got to thinking. Maybe. What the heck. There we go. 
you know you know what we haven't seen in a while haven't haven't really heard about or messed around um those pesky world builders whatever happened to them what happened to the world builders uh let's see just just something i was thinking about as i was kind of grinding this out um I meant to bring you guys in sooner, but we got we got busy working on things, and sometimes when I put my nose to the grindstone, it just... Before I know it, we're done. Well, I have made the entirety of the platform, I've made the AFK platform, and I've come back down here to the item collection area where we have a frog light. I think we have one of each. It's pretty neat. Uh, that means that we filled up our... Um, item hopper relatively quick and we got a frog light but what I need to do is I need to make a way to get from here at Y level 56 all the way up to Y level 100 and what I'm thinking is gonna be something very 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 old school yep so I think we're gonna go one two three four five six and then we're gonna go one two three Eight, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're just going to repeat this pattern until we get close to, um, this one to our AFK platform, which is right there. You can barely see, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. That actually should be good. And then we're going to just make sure we got the wings and just fly on down. So there's a reason that I've just done what I was doing. And that is we're going to put a ladder on each one of these. And then above that ladder, we're going to put a minecart. It's going to be resting on the ladders themselves, utilizing the old little minecart elevators, right? I think that's going to be super cool. So what I need to do now is I need to build the rest of this up. And I wanted it glass, because I thought that would look the coolest. So where we have our ladder here, we can go ahead and build this up. We then need to take... A temporary block place it here place a rail place a minecart let's go ahead and build this up just a little bit Mm, yeah, this is going to be a little bit tricky. We can do that. We can do that. Then it rests, and we just build the glass all the way up. I think this is going to be super awesome. So that there, like so. We'll do that there. We'll put a temporary block here. That that was uh, that was a very very a scary. <laughs> oh my goodness! Come on, it's it's, it's kind of hard landing on the on the single block. But we did it. Um, so, minecart, up, and let's go up. What had happened was the, more or less, the guys just kind of glitched through the, uh, glass a little bit. No big deal. Yeah, so we're going to build this thing the rest of the way up. Um, creating ourselves a nice little minecart elevator, something I haven't seen done in quite some time. Um, 
which is going to be cool. And I think it's going to work. Goodness, so we're going to have to uh, try it out here. Let me get a little bit away from this. And let me finish building this. Well, I messed up on the elevator, and we will talk about that momentarily. But whilst I've been building the elevator and building the AFK platform to our liking, this farm is working and working very, very well. The only thing that I've kind of neglected to um, do is give myself a way out of this to fly away and go back to the base and get myself things like shulker boxes that I should have brought with me. Uh, I can craft up a bunch of them if I need to, uh, which we probably will do. But what I did with the elevator is I cannot reach this first one. I did lower it by a block and then there was no way I could reach these other ones. What I did was test this in creative where your reach is quite a bit more, right? And this guy, when I go down, it wants to pop out. So we might have to put another block here of glass. That's no big deal. Um, I think because we have a 5x5, five five, I'm going to do something like this. And this is our AFK point to where we can just stand and watch the carnage. We are getting frog lights very, very quickly and things are happening very very nicely i think what i want to do is eventually get myself a um staircase or something like that up into the nether ceiling and then tunnel my way all the way back to the base with maybe a minecart system or something uh, this is going to be oh we're having that issue that we found yeah that's fine jump off and despawn there we go look at that um, this is going to be one of those farms that I don't spend forever in. I think we're going to get ourselves a couple of shulker boxes worth of frog lights or maybe more. I'm not sure. And then as needed, right? If I get myself maybe three shulker boxes of each light, that'll serve the purpose that we need them for a very, very long time. So... With that being said, I think we're going to go AFK for a little while. I do, this video might drag on a little bit, but I do want to get myself a significant amount of frog lights um, and be able to take them back to the base and put some signs on them and stuff. Uh, what we will do is I will probably just have like a little pillar staircase out of here over here. And then we will fly back to the base. The only thing that I've got to be very, very careful of is the fact that my um, wings are about dead. So I may need to put on an extra pair. You know what? We're going to have to take some of these levels that we've got and some of the availability of books that we have and get ourselves a good set up as far as elytras and stuff like that but it's time to go afk for a little while i think I, I don't know 20 minutes i'm gonna go afk for 20 minutes and see what we have for frog lights there was like three stacks and a bit in each chest so let's let's time it 20 minutes have passed and we've gotten like six stacks and a bit of the green ones same on the yellow ones and the same on the purple one so if i've gotten this in about a total of 30 minutes let's say roughly rough math we can get nine stacks every 30 minutes so that's an hour for this an hour for this so two and a half hours of af king and we would have a bunch of um shroom lights now what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and take what i've got and we're going to take this back to the shop. I'm going to go AFK for maybe like another 20, 30 minutes. Um, and then take what I have back to the base. Go a or uh, set up some shops. And then I'm going to do some major AFKing over at this farm. But it's working good. Uh, the only thing that I see or have noticed is some things do skip the item sorters. And they do end up just poofing into poofness. Yep, lava. That's what it's called. 
<laughs> and that's okay. I mean, we didn't have any frog lights to start. We had the stack that we got from Tiz, which I actually still have a bit of those. So we can actually add these into our, um, our setup here, right? Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I'm glad I bought these from Tiz so that we could get a little ahead on our item sorters and stuff like that. But yeah, let's go AFK for a bit. And then we'll head over to the base and we will set ourselves up a uh, nice little... Nice little chest area down with, I don't know, the bone meal area? Hmm. We're definitely going to have to think about it. Or like where the bones are, sorry. Things like that. I don't know. But we got to set up a shop somewhere. Well, Tiz has been showing pictures of the hub and the things that he's done now that the 1.19 update is here. And let's just pop through and let me show you real quick what he's done. Just at my portal. Uh, if you guys aren't watching or haven't seen, you you should. <laughs> we say that all the time. But no, seriously, this this is insane. Oh, I, oh man. This, we've got the skulk and the vines and we've got the catalyst. Ooh, we've even got some uh, skulk sensors. Those are so cool. And he's doing a very, very good job of making it look like an ancient city, though I have yet to be to one. Mm-hmm. So anyway, he had some leftover skulk and said, does anybody want some? And we kind of went back and forth with me jokingly saying, look, man, I've spent enough money at your place. I'm not going to spend any more, but I would love some. So since we had hooked Tiz up at the very beginning of the season with some, like, quartz and things like that, he has decided to hook us up with a little bit of a shulker box here. Mm-hmm. So let's see what's in here. Oh, that's the, the enchantment, the swift sneak. That's what it's called. Swift sneak. Ooh. And then we've got some Skulk Catalyst. 20 of them. I believe that this is what we need to set down for... Um, to spread the Skulk. And it has to be mobs or something that drops experience. To die and then we get the things. That is, that is awesome. We are going to put this in the valuables chest. So that later on I will be screaming and pulling my hair out. Um... Because I don't know where I left it. Anyway, Swift Sneak is a new leggings protection, which is nice because we don't have a lot of those. We are going to instantly e attach that and equip that. So now that I am back over at the base, let me grab a few things. Well, here we have it. The three shulker boxes. We have the green frog lights. We have the yellow frog lights. And we have the purple frog lights, all a diamond four stack right here in the center of the base so people can come in and get those. Uh, I am going to post a screenshot here in um, Discord. And then what I need to do is I need to go over real quick and grab some unbreaking books, though we have lost uh, part of our mob farm and stuff. We still have, you know... A fair few things it's no big deal um, and we have the availability to buy some books with some emeralds that we have so the last thing that I want to do is I want to go over to the mushroom island real quick grab some books and get these guys enchanted I was flying up here to gain a couple of unbreaking books from my villagers which I have right here but I noticed that over there um, where and why is there a lectern here? We apologize for the world prune issue. If you'd like to see it fixed, we require a humble sacrifice. Become the most unhumble server mate. WB. World builders? Wait. They want me to make a humble... Oh.
we have a humble district and we looked at that uh, episodes ago and it's a district started by Tom. They want you to to have a stack of diamond blocks to join it. So if I'm correct in that book, it wants us oh no. Oh, I got to do <laughs> I forgot I got to do some trading with this guy. Uh does anybody sell bookshelves? Yeah, you do. Thank you. Um, so I'm thinking what they want in order to fix our issue is they want a humble sacrifice, meaning they want me to sacrifice my diamonds and to become the most unhumble server mate. That means I need to burn all or, or get rid of all of my diamonds. That's a silk touch one. We want this one. Oh no. Well, first things first, we're going to trade with this guy. Until we can get his next trades unlocked. And now we should be able to get the two unbreaking books that we need. Oh my goodness. Perfect. And I need to get an anvil set up real quick. Which I actually had. I had, yep. So there we go. We've got an elytra mending and breaking, a second elytra mending and breaking. And that means now that inside of our little um, thing here with all of our tools, we now have ourselves two backup sets of el elytra just in case things go south. Well, I guess... I guess we gotta do it, right? I really do want the the farms back. Th this sure is asking a lot of me, though. <laughs> this this is too much. I guess we'll do it on camera. This way the world builders know or have a record at least. We're going to do it down here on the Mushroom Island. That is over a stack of diamond. Let me burn these books. I don't want multi-shot. That is... Oh no, man. Yes, we're going to do it. Please rebuild my stuff, world builder dudes. You guys saw it. There's there's no other place we've been hiding diamonds. That that was it. I have to say that it's been a whirlwind of an episode. We have made a frog light farm. I didn't show this on camera, but I actually dug a tunnel all the way back um, to the hub. This way it's just a little easier for me to get back and forth it is in no way shape or form faster it takes a few minutes to walk down this tunnel but it's no big deal um when the world got updated and pruned and all of those things it looks like the world builders decided to delete my farms by accident but then they required a sacrifice to fix them <laughs> i don't get it but we did it nonetheless um oh boy Yep, bye. And we built an entire 
frog life farm, which looks like I'm missing just a couple of glass blocks. Um, <laughs> but luckily, we are on the keys pretty quickly. Let's see. We can go fix that real quick. Yeah, so a whirlwind episode here. We've got quite a bit done for today, and I think I think this is a good stopping point. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be a very, very long video. I wonder why these got deleted. Probably the gas that we're shooting at me. Eventually, I will make this a little more safer because this is pretty sketchy at best. Glass is not a great bridging block nor is netherrack but we have a path all the way back now the only thing that i really need to do is i guess stop this up just so nothing comes in here and attacks us and clean out the old inventory i'm gonna go afk for a while we do have the um little bits of frog lights at the base and i like i said i want to collect more i don't think we're gonna spend a a ton of time at this but we are definitely going to spend some time collecting frog lights so anyway that's gonna do it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i hope to be getting back to the two episodes a week starting now hopefully this video goes out sunday which is today which is oh it's about 10 a.m my time hopefully it goes out about 6 7 p.m uh and we can get back on the routine i try to do more like progressy things on sundays where i try to just dabble for wednesdays i've got a lot of projects and a lot of ideas and things that we want to get done so hopefully we get more frog lights hopefully we have appeased the world builders and our mob farm and our ink farm will be rebuilt along with our storage system and we can have all that stuff back. If not, we're going to have to build some kind of storage collection for the iron. My puppy is whining. I've got to let him out. So, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure to hit that like button. Make sure you hit the... Or le <laughs> bleh, bleh, bleh. It's been a while since I've done this. Hit that like button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get notified when videos like this come out. Be sure to leave a comment consider subscribing all these interactions with the channel do help out a tremendous amount believe it or not it doesn't require much so thank you guys for the continued support be sure to check the description for all the different ways to follow me including links to twitter twitch discord the second channel patreon a link to all the other truly bedrock members youtube channels are down below once again thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one